Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3 of Feed the Beast Tutorials. So I'm now in a brand new test world, and I'm here to spotlight the bioreactor from Mine Factory Reloaded. So what you're going to do guys is place this guy down in the world, and what you're going to need is some kind of organic material to get this guy rolling. And I'm just going to get some saplings and some seeds. And this is really all you need to get this guy going. And what you want to do is place all of your stuff in here. And it will eventually put them down to here. And as you can see, because I'm putting a lot in there, the efficiency began to go up a little bit. And this guy essentially will begin to create biofuel. So I can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a bunch more of these oak saplings in here. And I can see, I believe because the um, I only have oak saplings and it can only process one type of material at once so if I went ahead and got myself some spruce saplings and some birch and some jungle and then I placed all four of these guys in here as you can see the efficiency went up really high then and you're probably wondering well why did the efficiencies go up so much well that's because they have more um, materials being processed at once so if I go and get myself a few more different types of seeds and I throw these guys in here as you can see the efficiency is going up which means you'll get more um, bio biofuel produced per organic material used so if I go and say get myself some potatoes and also some carrots I believe these guys work and you see, as you can see the efficiency is now maxed out and this guy is beginning to create biofuel for us now we'll go into the buffer initially and it w then it will eventually drain into the, this internal storage and then as you can see it's producing biofuel pretty happily there and next episode if you stay tuned I will go ahead and show you how to use it so thank you for watching guys remember to like comment subscribe on the video and also definitely leave a comment below if, um, if you found this video helpful and want to see more of this series so goodbye from Peter Plum guys